Okay, so I was going to make this part of my new game guide series, but I want to keep these videos as short and easily digestible as possible, and I have too much to say. So this is a new series now. It's called Catacombs Kinda Suck. I tried to record this with my HUD off for some reason. Did you know that if you play with your HUD off, you can't target things? I certainly didn't know that. Anyway, this is Stormfoot Catacombs. To get here, just go northwest from the Church of Ella. There are two things you want for this dungeon. A shield, and a strike weapon. This character is a wretch, so I already have a club. Otherwise, you can buy one from the nomadic merchant on the beach near Coastal Cave for 600 runes. Or, you can grab the Morning Star from the broken carriage south of the Bridge of Sacrifice. Or, if you want to be a badass, and I wish I had thought to do this when I recorded the footage, you can just two-hand the shield and use that as your weapon. If you lack a decent shield, the Beast Crest Heater Shield is also in an easy-to-loot chest east of the Warmaster's Shack on Stormhill. Don't even go in that room, unless you want to be ambushed by imps. The item on the ground is just Root Resin. You can get an unlimited amount of that off of the ground just outside. The boss door is already open because I fucked up and died while running around with no HUD. Ignore this room too, and the next one. Here's a little trick for the Flame Pillars. If you block the fire once, it can't hurt you anymore. You just walk through the rest of it. You could use a bow or something, but then the imp on the wall in the previous room will jump on your head while you stop to aim. Pick up the prattling pate hello off of this corpse. This is an unlimited use item that lets you go hello. Lower the flame pillars if you want. Block the fire again. There's another worthless item behind the second flame pillar being guarded by like four imps. Don't even bother. There's also a Ghost Glove Warp 1. There are a bunch of flowers in here. You can pick them up if you want, but you get so many of these things that it barely matters. Now, these imps you want to kill, because if you run past them into the next room, they'll kill you. Two more imps in the next room. Bait out the one hiding in the corner and attack him in between blocking the throwing knives from the one in the back. I almost died twice just because of the throwing knives, even with the shield. It would probably have been smarter to kite the corner imp all the way back into the previous room. The wandering noble ashes are on this corpse, and this summon is actually pretty useful against the boss of this dungeon. Backtrack, and then drop down to where the boss door lever is. Beware the imps, although they have this weird habit of immediately falling off the edge when you go down there. Pull the lever, and beware of the third imp sleeping in the corner. Now run back to the grace point. Watch out for any imps that may have fallen down. Alright, boss time. Summon the Wandering Nobles. Wait for them to distract the boss. Once the boss is distracted, two-hand your weapon and hit it in the back with two fully charged heavy attacks. This will immediately drop him, even with 10 strength and a plus zero club. Getting the riposte is also good, I just whack him for some reason. When the watchdog has his sword low, it tends to do a lot of spinning attacks. So wait for it to raise its sword against the wandering noble, and then do it again. Once again, I missed the repost. He should already be dead if he took either of the reposts. Since I missed both of them, I have to wait for a good opportunity to finish him off. Okay, so what have we learned from Stormfoot Catacombs? We learned that catacombs are full of imps and traps and fuck all else. Oh, and they get so much worse than this one. 